some of the comments in the comment section, people want to know how do you wire a sump pump, an outdoor sump pump. So we have the inlet for the high octane, and then that water falls to the bottom, and we lift it with a half horse Liberty pump. A lot of people want to know what pumps we like. We like the Liberty, like the half horse Liberty, and you definitely want to order them with 25 foot cords. We then take that cord along with the cord for the tether float. And in the wintertime, that'll end up getting a thermostat-controlled heater as well. So, oh, look, a boulder. Okay, so these are mock rocks. And there's the electric plug. So this is all weather. It's waterproof. But, you know, we go a step further, and we'll put a mock rock over top of it, and then that way... There's just no way that thing's getting any moisture, and it's not going to get wet. It's going to stay dry. We have great results with this. Now, if you are thinking about putting an alarm on this, a high water alarm, I'm going to tell you right now, the high water alarms, you do want on a separate circuit because if something happens to that that circuit, and there's a, there's a bunch of plugs on that, so if, this isn't isolated to where it's the only thing. Uh, sometimes you go to homes and the, the box is full, so you're piggybacking on something. So uh, the high water alarms, you want them on something else. That way, if the GFI gets thrown, the high water alarm will tell you, you know, it'll still have power to it, and it'll go off and let you know, hey, your pump's not working, what a high water alarm is, and I'll show you one, I'll do a video on one. It has a red flashing light on top, and it gives a, a sound. And it has a float, and when the float rises, because the water's not being pumped down, something's wrong with the pump, the alarm goes off, the high water alarm goes off. Well, when something goes wrong with this electrical, there's going to be no alarm to sound so that's why I recommend you put that on a separate circuit. So this is just words of advice from a guy that's oh only done it for, I think, 33 years now. All right, guys. Well, until the next video.